It's called Korean Englishman, if you if you can find it. And also, you seem like a really nice guy, so you're probably like Dan and Joel. They're similar kind of thing. They're over there now, though. They live there. I think the the Dan and Joel tend to do a lot more videos, less YouTube-y and more uh, documentary kind of style videos. So they're like a couple of videos they did and like spoke to homeless people that stay in the um, in the train station like lobbies and stuff at night where they like go in when the like when it's quiet and build their houses out of cardboard and like they just they talk to real people and that's pretty why do you know more korean channels than i do i get i get on tracks of things like i watched one korean englishman video now i'm sub to like four channels um i buy kimchi now i have gochujang in my fridge it's just like I get on a track with things where I'm super into it, and then, like January, I forget that it was even a thing, and then I'll be. In where do you live from? Brisbane, Australia. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. Do you where, guys have Korean where, restaurants where out you? there? Yeah, we have Korean. Chicago. Chicago, home of bad hot dogs and bad gangsta man men. Bad Chicago. hot dogs. We, our hot dogs are pretty trash i thought chicago okay. hot dogs are the ones that have like like chunky pickle isn't that crappy hot dogs and good pizza in chicago i thought that was new york no there's nothing good in new york new york has new york okay <laughs> new york i was in new york three times i got scammed 60 dollars once technically 80 dollars so i went to new york on like an orchestra trip right or like i was playing in an orchestra and we went there okay playing carnegie hall right Awesome. Yeah, it was sick, right? And then we're at the hotel, at the Carnegie Hotel, which is right, like, a couple steps away from, or, yeah, like, a block away from, like, time, uh, time Times Square. Square. Yeah, I think so. In New York, yeah. Times Square. And we're, we're f***ing hungry, and we're like, we want pizza. We walk outside, and we're like, we're like, we can't find any pizza. The G, uh, like, the GPS isn't working on our phone. Yeah. And then I start talking to this guy Right, and I'm like, hey, can you please give us some uh, directions? He's like, yeah, the directions are here, here, and here. And he sends us to the pizza place. But he's like, wait, before you go, and he's dressed in like an all army fit. So I was like, oh, he's yeah, trusty. Yeah. He's trustworthy. He starts talking to us about like how he was hit by like an IED or whatever. Yeah. But he's like, and he said his leg was paralyzed and cut off. Did he but show his leg you was the there. fake leg? His leg was there. His he was it was a fully functional fleshy leg. Yeah. It was real. It was there. And he was give and. I didn't know what to do. I was like, "Wait, did I mishear it or whatever?" And then he's like, "20, like, can we, ha can we, not, can I have some money?" And then my friend, right? He's like, "I don't have any money, but I have this 20. Do you have change?" He's like, "Oh, that's okay. Grabs the 20 and f dips." And I'm like, <laughs> "That's stolen valor, what? man. That's stolen valor." See, we get to sucks. the pizza place that he sent this to. Yeah. Sixty dollar pizza for some sh pizza. I well, gave one mm of the guys. Here's the thing, here's the thing. You paid $60 for a pizza. Yeah, I know. You ripped yourself off. Yeah, now, Who's I know. paying that much for food in the States? I thought that was the whole point of having so much competition is that food was cheaper and you paid $60 for a pizza? Oh my god. Oh my god. Would you, is this a Try Guys There were other or people there, so it's like... It... <laughs> it's like... Wait, yo, hold on. Completely unrelated. Uh -huh. I have to say this before I forget it. Yeah, sure. Wouldn't it be awesome if you had a podcast? No, because here's the thing. I don't really care about much. So I find I think it would be hard to um I think it would be hard to fill even if I was gonna only do like what? Like 30, 40 minutes a couple of times a week. What do you fill that with? You just fill that with me rambling about how I had a burrito for lunch? And the fact that it said it was going to be there at 1.15 and then it didn't get there until 2.10. And then when the guy dropped it off at the reception desk at my work, somebody else saw it and said, Oh, that's lunch for Jared. I'll take that. But then there's two Jareds in the building, so we took it to the wrong floor. So by the time I get my lunch, it's almost an hour and 20 minutes after it was supposed to be there. And it's cold and I'm about to leave work. So I end up going out of the building and eating that in a park bench fearing my life from coronavirus but enjoying the chipotle mayo that they put in there for my fries which are dead cold i don't you're think you're cheeky that's 
Do you know that? That, that was a legit true story <laughs> that happened today. That's the burrito that I had for lunch. It was cold. Um, you should sue. Sue for everything. It's the American way. Someone's okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow, how did you afford this house? You have two swimming pools? One on the second floor with a glass bottom like Daddy Warbucks? Oh, yeah, this one time I got a cold burrito. Just jack flew from there. It was yeah. crazy. I got some advice. I got some legal advice from an Asian on the internet. Now we're killing it. <laughs> you can't go wrong, bro. You can't, you can't go, go wrong. wrong. I mean, like you could go one step up and find a Jewish guy on the internet, and then you're set for life. That's your family set for life. Exactly. That's your whole bloodline. You, you have your family, and then like four, probably five generations. Just you're good. Absolutely. That's all I've done. You change your name to Burrito. Okay. I don't know. It's just a I feel like getting packaging. success on YouTube is no longer about actual skill and maybe or maybe it does have to do with skill but like you also have to ride this like clout wave almost and try and find what people are like amused by entertained by I think it's I think the real thing is that like that you have to be honest about what it is that you want to do like I have no interest in growing a fan base like i'm super interested in meeting people and like hooking up with people and just making friends and stuff on youtube because it's fun to get in touch with people who would kind of you know get off on the same things that you do there's a lot there's a lot of good stuff still on youtube uh, i don't get any of it <laughs> i don't get it. i don't get any of it you it have just, no idea it just gets overshadowed what, what, by the rush right but you know what honestly rubbish is okay every now and then. this is the mcdonald's okay. argument it's not good for you but it's okay once in a while my feed is entirely filled with um it's either music stuff or it's my you, know, like, you know oh my god dude my mom i catch her watching that shit. she's eating and watching a mukbang at the same time i'm like why what is the appeal to it she's like it makes me hungrier i'm like it's because you're joining in. Now it's a... No, you're no, producing. hell no. Don't defend, it. Don't defend it. Stop that. <laughs> I know you like Korean culture, but I'm I'm now more interested in, like, the smaller YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this... Like, the political juice, I'm definitely going to check that out. That looks awesome. Yeah. I'm going to watch your videos. That's going to be hella fun. Hopefully. I'm really hoping you didn't f*** there. No, it's but I'm terrible. <laughs> hoping that that's going to be good but there's a point where the smaller youtubers also turn out to not be that full of content like you know like yeah, sometimes no, it's obviously cool. like you're, so you're way too young to remember but youtube used to be just absolute trash it was just people it was basically like what uh tiktok and vine are like it was just um make this little funny video and put it up like for ages that's a, just that and movie trailers. I mean, I don't know. The The problem is that um, YouTube has the monopoly. It was America's funniest home videos that anybody could enter into and you were guaranteed to be seen. And then they just started having some, you know, personalities shine through that kind of got more views than other people. And then they obviously well, saw- Well, it was like Fred, right? Yeah, yeah, I can't. Oh no, it's Fred, just because it's so fuck. terrible, man. I, I honestly, I can't believe they memed that whole thing into a franchise. Like, there's a Fred movie. Yeah. And if you got yeah. some brain cells to spare, you could watch the, you know, Fred movie and sort that problem out real quick. I feel like a lot of it's just kind of filled with almost the same content. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's diversified, but like the the ideas behind it are almost similar. I don't know how to explain it, but like oh no it's it's yeah it's easily explained in that um this one thing seems to be doing popular i will do that too and piggyback it it's the same thing with music do you know like when people started using like uh like maxing out the uh tune on auto tune and then all of a sudden like it, it's in every song I oh yeah with like hard i am and then like, yeah 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 oh you know what's a really what funny video now? Like, what's the fad now do you know, I mean, it is more popular, but have you heard of Bart Baker? He does. Oh my like, god, the f parody guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Whoa. that. I love Whoa. that song he did of um, uh, It's Britney Spears and Will I Am. Yeah. Where are all YouTubers, dude? 
I don't know. Do, I does he still make videos? I think. I was watching that like four so... years ago, I think. When he brought out that Katy Perry oh one, God. where she like kills all the dudes. I feel like he's the one guy that could put on blackface and like, like mm. he would get minimal. Mm. Mm. I don't know, no, man. Wait, he already did it. Well, he put on like part Canadian blackface. <laughs> did you see that he did the Drake video? Oh. Yeah, he he did a 6 9 video. That's a little bit upsetting. This is America. Oh my god, dude. When that song came out, people were like obsessed for like... What was it, like a couple weeks, I think? Yeah. And you know what's funny is that um, it wasn't... I think it was like in the same couple of months that um, there's that song and it's 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 a guy, it's a black guy rapping, but in the... Uh, Joyner Lucas. Joyner Lucas. When he did that video with uh, the black guy and the white guy. Yeah, I'm not racist. Yeah. Dude, that song is so good. I've never heard such a level-headed, popular song before. Like, it was just both sides, just perfect. Also, um, Andrew McDonald. That's not his name. His surname's McDonald. Tom. Tom. Andrew. Tom McDonald. There was a girl who recommended this video to, or this guy to me, and... Yeah. Oh, he had the whole thing with Mac Lethal. Oh my god. Yeah. What? 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 Dude, can you put me on to some, uh... What's your favorite... Flautist? Are you kidding me right now? No, I know what a flautist is. It's like boys that <laughs> kiss boys, right? <laughs> okay, wait, you gotta, you gotta answer that for me. Yeah, right? sure. How do you know so many people? You know... Why do you have such a wide range of knowledge of just YouTube? Because I'm old? That's what happens? It's the accumulation of a lifespan? Like 25. Oh! <laughs> Alright, this is my uh, favorite subscriber here. He'll be getting the gold something. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now. It's been too long since I ate last. 25? Are you out of your mind? You need to switch up to a number 5 read and let more airflow through this whole situation. Guess again. And like I told uh, somebody else on Amigo, if you guess wrong, uh, I'm gonna claim your firstborn child. Uh, this idiot no. never heard of Rumpelstiltskin before. 1980. 1980? Uh-huh. You're 40? Oh, rude. I'm 39. Wait. Be thrown away. Oh, accusations? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 40. 39. I'm 40 in September. More How worried. long have you been on YouTube? Uh, hmm. I don't think people understand how difficult it is to make it on YouTube. Yeah, but it's like I was saying before. It's like, are you trying to make it on YouTube? Or are you trying to do something that you enjoy doing? Like... 10 years ago. Paranormal activity in no cars. No way! 10 years? That was my first, um... Oh, wait. Was that my first video? Because if it is... I that, think... If it is, that's also my first, uh... Copyright claim. Can you... Do, did they copyright claim 10 years ago? Was that 2010? They definitely so. did. Alright, man. Well, I'm going to let you go because I am actually super starving now. But, um... I so the videos on your Instagram they're they're playing right they're, they're are they videos of you playing oh my god uh yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna out you on YouTube <laughs> but to be honest you've seen the views nobody would find you anyway so that's fine um no 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 just because I wanted to hear you play dude I, re I reckon you should uh, I mean you know do a channel. How hard is it? You just play like you normally play, except there's a camera in the background, and at the end you put it on the internet. That'd be cool. I mean, I think there's a, I think there's a market for it. If you're, if you're down to teach me how to do something like that, like some other day, I would totally do it. But I'm not trying to set up this account by myself because <laughs> I would. Myself. Well, you, you just so. need a Gmail. That's it. If I have a Gmail. Ah, hey, I'm not going to force you. I don't want to be here, you know, making suggestions to underage people on the internet. All right, all right. Let me, let hey, me see what I can... You already told me how old you are, so you can't say you're not a minor. Did I say how old 
you did. Shame. Because, <laughs> because, because <laughs> I dragged you for being twelve, and you like go actually, like your whole like voice dropped two octaves. Actually. All right, all right. I got hairs on my chin. I think, I think I want to post my latest song. Um, maybe we'll see. You know, this what is gonna you, be cool. You know what you should do is um post it with really shitty audio so that it seems like you've got somewhere to come up from, even if you can post good audio. And then it's like a, it's a bit of a bait. To be like, ah, oh, this guy's just doing it hard out here filming with a Nokia 3210, and he's still making it work out here in Chicago, Chi Town, Chi Rack. Oh, that's what you sh that's what you need to do. So you need to take some influence. Don't need to do this at all, but I'm just saying from Chicago. So you brand as being in Chicago, and then you do classical music, but with some kind of influence from trap or like drill music. Bet money, bet money, four weeks go by and somebody, da, 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 hey, can I buy this sample from you? And you're like, sure can. And then the next time I see you, you'll be like grills and braids. And I'll be like, Korean shouldn't have braids like that, bro. That's, that's <laughs> ugly. That is ugly. Please, bro, please. I need to talk to you again. Intr <laughs> Other... introduce, introduce all your videos in Korean. No, dude, I am not. No. No, I'll get fucking. Wow, I'll your Korean's sent... really good. You're gonna be really good at fooling people into thinking you're not Chinese, and then you just wait for this whole corona thing to blow over. <laughs> yogi gachi. Why? Why do you know that? Why do you know you how I to watch these Korean things? Yeah, Dude, but I, I haven't picked up very much though, to be honest. I sh for the amount of videos that I watch, I should be like like ordering. I don't know kimchi jjigae. I can barely speak English. Sundubu, bulgogi, kabi. Oh, okay. I know bulgogi. Bulgogi is a uh, type, and galbi is meat. Kabi is short rib. Yeah, it's meat. so, uh, my God, I'm blanking on the word. Kabi <laughs> seasoned. Oh, there's seasoned kabi. Uh, I forgot what it was. It's the sauce, anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. My God, your okay, anyway. Instagram is full of treasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I will be reaching you on here. Let me take a picture of that so I don't lose it. I will expose you when you become famous or whatever. You've just exposed yourself because I'm pretty sure that's your ID on the back of your phone. Right. Now putting that in the video. <laughs> None of this end bit is gonna. <laughs> this is this is way too long. I'm. Nice to meet you, dude. All right. I Dude, look forward you are to awesome. uh, hearing some sassy lip work on the clarinet. Super gay. Super gay. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's awesome. <laughs> I'm sure it's awesome. <laughs> All right. All I'm right. Confused. See you, dude. That's me, man.